Kitty, Kitty Love. All, all the love. Your way, sending your way. Welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. My name is Sunnily Make Stuff, and I stream on Twitch. Uh, right now, I'm recording this uh, live on Twitch. Uh, I do. I play video games. I also do tarot readings, which is what you guys are here for today, and some cosplay stuff, uh, like cosplay adventure vlogs, tutorials, and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started on this reading today. And today's reading, I haven't written down the question because I have a terrible memory sometimes. Uh, what is the most important lesson that you need to learn right now? I'm starting to plan things now. I'm in my organized era. And it, it's amazing. I, I feel so like, I feel very adultish. <laughs> if that's like a word, but, um, but yeah, welcome. Um, if you're new here, uh, please like and subscribe. If you if you like the reading, I hope you like the reading. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're into like the other things like video game stuff and uh, uh, cosplay stuff, yeah, subscribe. And uh, if you want to catch these live, uh, follow me on Twitch. And yeah, you'll you'll get to see the uncut like versions and the uncut shenanigans, and you get to like watch these like live first and not have to wait for it to get put on YouTube. Uh, but yeah. Uh, without further ado, though, uh, let me give you let me give a little 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 disclaimer here. Um, tarot is a divination tool, um, and these are a group. Well, this is a group reading, so not everything is going to apply for you. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and as a legal disclaimer, uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, and yeah. Let, let's go take a look at the piles. Um, okay, here. So for pile one, uh, we have I have little trinkets, and they're gonna they're gonna it's gonna make sense when the reading comes together. But for pile one, if you guys can see, there you guys can. Um, it's a Zhang Li uh, from uh, little keychain from Genshin Impact. Um, and then if you kind of want to go by like the tarot deck, I am using the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. And then for pile two, I have a little tiki keychain. And for the deck that I'm using on that one, is going to be the Mystical Cats tarot. And then for... Uh, for pile three, uh, we got a uh, potion of fire breathing. Uh, it's a little little trinket I got from uh, the Renaissance Fair, which um, if I remember to do so, I'll put like a little like when you guys are done reading, uh, watching the reading, uh, feel free to watch that adventure vlog. Um, this is where I got it. I didn't film it, but you'll see the other shenanigans uh, that unfolds in that vlog. Uh, but a uh, few want to see the tarot deck it's going to be the elder scrolls the skyrim elder scrolls deck um but yeah um if you need a moment to like meditate to kind of help pick your tarot deck um feel free to do so now like pause think about it and um if you need further help uh you can always ask uh, siri or like whatever like a uh, little voice or ai thing whatever google there's there's methods um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get started. I forget to keep adding this as part of the intro, but I joined it on the fun. Um, I will ask, uh, Siri, um, what, which pile is mine? So, um, I have the timestamp li listed for that down below. Um, yeah, so, uh, sorry, chat just said something really funny. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, once you check out your pile... Uh, if you want to, maybe check out my pile. Uh, well, check out, like, what I got. Maybe we got the same pile? I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, so if you picked in pile number one, um, there's the little Zhongli keychain from Genshin Impact and the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. You are in the right place. Uh, so let's take a look. 
Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. I'm going to save these guys for the end. But these guys we're going to take a look at right now. <sighs> okay. With the Zhongli keychain and this, I can already kind of see where this is going. Okay. I keep getting drawn to uh, this card first, which is the queen of my own world, which is basically you're saying, like, it's my way or the highway. You're being stubborn as fuck um, about something. And uh, that something is that you are, like, fragmenting yourself. You got fragmentation. And is this me? You are doing something right now that is so, like, out of character of you. And um, you're kind of like destroying yourself. You're kind of, you're not, I don't know. I feel maybe just destroying might be a bit exaggerated, but like you are, you're doing something that is not you. Um, that is something you normally do. Um, I think I know where he pops in, but... Um, I'm gonna hold off on our little keychain here. Oh, let me get him in frame. There we go. I think I know where he's kind of coming in, but like, let's see what the tarot cards say. But uh, that's kind of what your lesson is surrounded by right now. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. A lot of reversal. Hello. Okay. <sighs> what is it? Okay. It's reversed. Okay. I need to double check the meaning on something here. Double check. That's what I thought it was, and then let me just double check one more thing. Like, I think I know what that card, the, uh, oh, that was a firework that went off. Okay. I'm, I think that's the universe telling me I'm correct, but let me just triple, quadruple check for you guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I was correct. Yay! Okay, cool. I'm learning. Uh, so, you are doing something, like, you are burdening yourself uh, with some sort of situation. Um, <clears throat> you are burdening yourself with some situation, um, and you are closing yourself off um, and you're being like stubborn about it like you could get help for whatever the situation it could apply to like so many it could apply to so many situations um you could yeah like you were just closing yourself off to any sort of help and like with the uh the nine of needles reversed and the ten of candles reversed which the nine of needles is going to be the nine of swords and the ten of uh candles is the ten of wands um these are burdens that are literally haunting you and like it's like weighing you down both mentally and physically and if you don't i'm gonna just tell you this from experience right now if you don't like get off your fucking high horse and like get the help you need or like don't like stop acting like 
if we go back to the Dark Mirror Oracle, if you stop, like, if you do things like, if you stop doing the thing that's like super uncharacteristic of you, things are so gonna move so much more easily. Yeah, words are difficult right now. Christ, this energy is like heavy. Like, this is intense. Like, I don't know what the situation is, pile one, but holy fucking damn. This is... I'm sorry if it's something that's, like, out of your control. But, like... Like, the image that I'm seeing in my head is, like, someone's, like, lashing out at people. Like, normally they're very loving. But, like, someone's lashing out, like, at the offer of, like, any, like help or like any like like if someone like someone that they care about tries to ask them like hey like are you okay like what's been going on you've been acting like kind of weird lately they kind of like no i'm fine like you're just being weird I'm, eh, eh, eh. like that's kind of like the image i have in my head let me see if i can like see if the cards say anything else but i feel like the lesson you're gonna learn pile one is to like just to know when to ask for help. Oh my god, you have so many reversals, pile one. Uh, you got the five of potions, five of cups reverse, the knight of presents. The king of candles. Oh, yeah. I feel- so- the King of Candles, which is the King of, uh, King of, uh, Wands. A lot of times, especially in reverse for me, like, it translates to fuckboy energy. But, like, so maybe this might be, like, a romantic situation. Um. But with the Knight of Presence normally, I feel like this is, like, I feel like these two cards are kind of, like, mirrored. And, like, this is what you're showing on the outside, but this is, like, what's on the inside. And, like, I feel like you're naturally, like, actually, like, oh, like, you're normally, like, really reliable. And, like, like, if we, like, relate this to, like, love, normally, like, you're a very, like, reliable partner. And, like, you're there for, like, wh whoever your significant other is. And, like, like, you want commitment. But, like... But with this king, I keep reading this as the king of uh, presents, so this is the knight of presents. But still, the knight of presents is like the knight of uh, pentacles is pretty, like the slowest of the knights. It's the most like, it's kind of slow and steady wins the race, like, and they're, they're pretty like reliable. Eat, like just kind of, just exactly like the king, the king, but the king is more established. But like right now you're just acting like fucking douchebag. We, we don't like fuck boys in this chat. Fuck boys are not welcome here. Um, but yeah, with the uh, five of potions reverse, which is five of cups reversed. That, I think reverse, it's like even worse than when it is upright. But let me double check. It's some, sometimes it's like one of those cards where it's like, oh, like the upright is bad. But then like when it's reversed, it is really bad. Oh. Yeah, it, it is. I'm right. Yay! Okay, cool. I'm learning. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this, the five of uh, cups, or five potions in this case, reversed is even worse. Uh, you are... You've made some really fucking big mistakes already from being too fucking stubborn. Like, being your stubborn self. And, like... Yeah, you're miserable because of it. And, uh, you know, if you would just, like, accept the help or, like, get off your fucking high horse and, like, stop doing things the way that you are currently doing it, like, you could, you know, turn it around. Um, which, uh, Zhang Li in Genshin, he. He goes through this whole complicated thing of like faking his own death and like so there's a whole huge investigation of like because people think he got murdered although he was like he's Rex Lapis uh, spoiler alert and and he's a 
he's a dragon. And so he's like actually hiding who he really is. This is this is his human form. Uh so <laughs> He hides himself. He, he's like, oh, I'm this big dragon, and I hand out coin, and blah, 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 blah. And uh, so people are already not seeing him for who he is. Um, and then he fakes his own death, goes through the trouble of that, and then gives his, his uh, like, power over to the Fatui, who are the big baddies, and... You know, he could have just, like, hey, guys, I want to fucking retire. That would have made, like, the situation so much more easier. Um, yeah, because he, I guess he was tired of being, a like, a, a god. And also, too, he did a dumb. He forgot to, like, make a bunch of money for him and uh, before he uh, gave up his god powers. And so he was broke by the end of it. Um, and he was like, fuck, I got to work. Uh, and, yeah. He's like, I gotta work. I don't have any savings. I don't have any anything. So yeah, he kind of fucked himself over on that one. So don't, 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 don't be a Zhongli in this in this case, and uh, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. But yeah, I think that's it. I think I've driven the point home. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Pile One. Um, if you really like this, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and if you want to catch these live, uh, follow me on Twitch. All the social media links are down below. And um, yeah, if you want to see what decks I use, that's also listed down below. And if you want to see what pile I got, that is also um, it's in the one of the timestamps below. So who knows? Maybe we got one of the. Eh. Who knows? Maybe we got the same pile. Uh, but yeah. That's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, pile one! Alright, let's uh, get these cards back. <gasps> oh my god, we forgot the heal! Wait! Wait! We forgot! For pile one! Pile- Okay, hold on. We forgot- We forgot the unicorn cards. Hold on. So, pile one. Pile one. I forgot about your unicorn cards. So, let's see what's your healing uh, cards. I was just starting to pack up, and then I saw the cards over here, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so you got, okay. I'm shook. I am so shook right now. <laughs> am I psychic or am I psychic? Okay, so the card that I'm most shook with is this one. It's Beloved. Um, I'll read it to you what it says. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So you know how I mentioned earlier that like you could be acting like a fuckboy um, or just non-committal in general, maybe you know uh, we'll we'll apply it to both genders or to our non-binary folks as well. Um, guys, I ooh, I just I just moved the camera. Uh, guys, <laughs> I feel like that's just. You know, look at the synchronicities, man. I don't know what to tell you, but like, yeah. Um, I notice like a lot of guys. Um, now that I look back at like a lot of um, uh, situationships that I've been in, let's just put it that way. Um, a lot of the guys, they were just they were just messing around, and then I even have some friends too that I can think of. Like they're just messing around with people just because like. It's I like it's one or like a combination of both of the things like either they don't love themselves at all and like they don't feel that they deserve love. Um, yeah, they don't like both platonically and like romantically. Um, they just yeah, they don't love themselves um, Two, um, They just don't believe like that. They'll end up like finding anybody which I totally get it 
I get it. I am a little, a little bit on that train. There are some days, like, I'm in a dark, depressive mood, and, like, I am, I get it. There's a lot of people out there. Nobody wants to commit. I understand. I get it. Look, I'm there with you. Um, but, you know, just gotta believe you're lovable. The person's out there. Let the right, actually, not your person. The person who is right for you is out there somewhere. It's just sometimes, you know, it will happen when it's meant to happen. Um, and then if you're already in a, like, relationship, because um, I do see romance is returning to your relationship. You know, every relationship, you know, we, they, both platonic and romantic, they have their bumpy parts, but, uh, Emotional I know, damage! I know, I know, Max. Yeah, emotional damage. I know. I know. But every relationship has their rocky moments, you know, like, you know, everything can't be peachy keen all the time. And like, for me, well, actually, no, not for me. Like, it's a red flag, honestly, if everything's always like all hunky dory and perfect, like, you know, you're going to have your disagreement. So, you know, don't worry, like the storm will pass. Uh, your second card is compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Maybe you've done some pretty fucking shitty things and fucked up things to the people you like. Well, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. We all fuck up sometimes. Um, you know, I've done some things I'm not proud of, um, both to myself and to others. And, you know, we all, we all, we all learn from it at some point you know just gotta get up and brush the dust off and uh move on and then uh your third card is going to be celebration a positive outcome is assured celebrate your success enjoy your achievements so like yeah like if you learn this lesson like shit will get better like yeah although well honestly the universe if you don't like accept it and then make the change yourself the universe is going to force you, trust me. I've seen the universe intervene, and it's crazy. Um, but yeah, like... Yeah. Don't worry about, like... If you're worried about, like, Oh, what if somebody doesn't like me for who I am? Or, like, what if I don't find the person? Like, who cares? It's fine. You know, as long as you accept yourself and love yourself for who you are, like, you're going to attract the right people. Like, and the people who, like... You're going to attract the right people who love you for who you are. And, yeah, like, you know, you don't always need a romance if you're trying to look for, like, a significant other. You don't need a romance to have your happy ending. You know, I'm single and I'm perfectly happy. Yeah, do I miss being in a relationship? Sure. Absolutely. But, and I, I like, I like, I, I, you know, like, being in a relationship is nice. But you know what? Like, I'm perfectly, like, happy and, like... I'm chilling like I'm good like I'm perfectly happy like the time that I would spend with my significant other guess what I get more time to spend with my friends so you know it's a, I don't know for me it's a win-win like I don't know what to tell you um, but yeah that is gonna be it pile one uh, so sorry for like almost forgetting your little unicorn cards uh, happy ending yes Mex curls yes happy ending uh yeah thank you so much uh for tuning in uh please comment like and subscribe uh follow me on twitch if you want to catch these live and uh yeah see you guys on the next one all right bye guys hello pile two if you pick the little tiki dude here if you go over the light i'm sorry i have like a light that's just chilling there that uh to help you guys see the cards better, but it does white these guys out a little. So I apologize in advance. Um, there's the Tiki deck, I mean the Tiki uh, uh, keychain guy, and then there is the Mystical Cats Tarot. Um, if you picked these uh, items in Tarot deck, you are in the right place. I'm gonna do this and like put things like this. I'm gonna put this in my way. So in pile one, I like completely forgot about this. Um, little oracle deck so uh yeah um <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna put it more in my way so i don't forget it this time but without further ado let's get started on your reading okay i won't cry for you 
Oh. Okay, well. Fuck, okay. Who hurt you, Pile 2? I want to know. Who hurt you? Because th that's what it's... That's what I'm reading. Uh, so I feel like your ego um, has been hit because you have downcast pride. Hold on. There we go. Um, you have downcast pride. And then... Um, so yeah. You got hit in your ego. And then you have Parasite, which uh, that means this thing is like literally eating away at you and it's all you can think about. And then I won't cry for you. So like, you just have straight up like malice for whoever this is. And like, this is like a very, like the energy that I'm getting is definitely, it's like you versus someone. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's find out. I don't know where this tiki comes in. Actually, you know what? I think I maybe I can kind of figure out where the tiki guy comes in, but you know. Anyways, I don't know much about tikis, but I can I can Google it. Then it might make more sense. But I I have a feeling. Okay, what lessons does Pile Two need to learn? I'm hoping like I I said Pile Two in the beginning. Oh boy. Editor me is gonna have fun with this one. All right. God. <laughs> I am on the nose with this. That Oracle card's already like spilled the beans. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, you are recovering from something. Because this forest sky here, uh, it is the, basically, the, uh, it's the four of swords in this deck. You have the sea queen, which is the, uh, reversed, which is the queen of cups. Reversed. And then, uh, eight of sea, which is eight of, um, cups. Which means, uh, yeah, you're kind of trying to, like, you're in the process of, like, moving away from a situation and like moving on and you're still hurt from it and you're like you your ego definitely like definitely got bruised and you're in the process of trying to move away from it but it's just eating at you and like it's causing you to be like insensitive and like lash out which is the queen of cups reversed um and it's causing you to be like emotionally unstable and like volatile um you're definitely hurt by whatever this is. And that's why I asked, who hurt you, Pile 2? <laughs> who hurt you? Okay. Uh, so the lesson that you're going to need to learn is to move on. Like, that's pretty much what the cards are saying. Like, you're in the process of moving on, and that's what you're, you're learning to let go. Let me see if I can get any more information. Although I feel like... God, I feel like... I'm like... I feel like... I. If I'm going to predict which pile is mine, I feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like I can relate to both pile one and two at this point, but like, this is like, I feel my, like I've seen this movie, like of me in the past. Okay. Like, I feel like I'm like, I've seen this movie before. Um, all right. So you got the two of earth, which is the two of pentacles, which is a balancing act usually. And you have the Ace of Sky, which is the um, in reverse, which is the sword, um, is the Ace of Swords reversed. And you've got the Moon reversed, which, <sighs> yes. Uh, so the Moon reversed is like secrets are getting revealed. So whatever. I feel like you're struggling to trust people and like seriously I relate to this so hard because I feel like this was me um, kind of fairly recently um, you're struggling to like keep your discernment and like cut people off basically uh, but 
you're also trying to like you're trying to find a balance between like whether like what to what and who to trust and what who who and what not to trust that's you're you're trying to find this balancing act i feel like you're looking to protect yourself and a lot of the time like any form of like totem which that's what tiki's are essentially uh they're a form of like spiritual totem um usually use spiritual totems for like protection and um I feel like you are learning to like you're trying to learn how to balance so you're like protecting yourself like when to like put your shields up and who to put your shields up against versus who not to do that like who's safe and who's not um man I should have like just like went with my fucking intuition damn I was like that's what I thought it meant but I wasn't 100% sure but yeah hello there Hello there, Demi Punk. How are you? I will shout you out momentarily. You are at the tail end here of a of a reading. All right, but yeah, uh, let's. Yeah, I think it's just yeah, it's just that balancing act. Um, let's get on to your little healing messages uh, to round out your reading. Um, uh, you it's literally like it's really like just driving the point home um this is probably the most like straightforward of all the readings um so far um so you got sanctuary um take time out from the world spend more time alone and meditate and go on retreat so yeah i feel like you need to like you know be comfortable and like know yourself like get to know yourself know like and try to see like figure out like what about that situation that hurt you um try to see like try to figure out what hurt you um and kind of just like meditate like why does that hurt you why does it still bug you um so that you know then you can have some self-healing but um also taking some time to like really think and like like kind of take a step back and like analyze your situation uh sometimes you'll like when you replay a situation in your head you might notice something that you didn't initially notice um and then friendship this is where my next point comes in you seek out your soul family surround yourself with positive people spend more time socializing so the people who you trust if they were there or like you tell them about like a situation they could also give you a viewpoint of like a different viewpoint maybe than like what you would have thought like there's something again that you might not have noticed or something you didn't quite pick up on but they picked up on um yeah um yeah so don't be, don't be afraid to lean on your friends damn that's been like the theme of today like pile one like i it felt like it's the same thing too like guys don't be afraid to like ask your friends for your for help like your friends are your friends and your friends like if they don't give you help for like whatever reason like other than like if like they sometimes like you you'll end up pouring from an empty cup and it's no good but if like they totally can and they just fucking won't just because they won't like fuck them they're not your friend uh, <sighs> yeah Anyways, uh, patience is your final card. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play well as you wait. Um, yeah, just be patient with yourself. Um, you know, uh, trauma does take time to heal from. Uh, but, uh... Honestly, it's just a process, and um, there's only so much healing you can do in the moment. Sometimes time is the only thing that can heal. Um, and yeah, don't don't be so hard on yourself. Like you know, some people are more sensitive, and some people take more time to heal from things than others, and that's totally okay. Uh, not everybody can handle the same things. Um, yeah. I think that just wraps, uh, that's, that about wraps it up for you, Pile 2. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like this, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and if you want to catch these live, follow me on Twitch as well. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Alright, see you next time, Pile 2. Bye! Hello, Pile 3. Um, 
It's been a ride, this whole, uh, this whole thing. Um, I'm gonna laugh if you guys have kind of a similar theme as the other two. You, the, so far, Pile 1 and 2 have been kind of oddly connected. I'm gonna laugh if you're connected as well. Oh no, little, little balls are stuck on the potion, but it's okay. Uh, but yeah, if you pick the little, uh, potion of fire breathing, um, and the Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls Tarot, I cannot speak. Uh, you are in the right place, the right time, the little right time, uh, time frame. Let me just, let me read what this pot. Uh, it's pretty, okay. I don't know if it was going to give me anything, like, extra. So, I forgot this in pile one, so I'm putting it here physically in my way so I don't forget it this time. Okay. I was good. I was good last pile. Let's see. Let's see if I'm good this time. Okay. <sighs> okay, pile three. <sighs> okay. Pile three, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Oh my god, the energy is a lot worse in this one than I feel like. God, it's fucking intense. No wonder why you got the damn potion of fire breathing. Um. God damn it. Okay. Well, pile three, you got obsession. So there is a situation or someone that you are obsessed with and uh, you want revenge. And like you totally know that you obsessing over getting revenge is not good, but you're like, it's fine. Today for tomorrow, it's fine. I'll just like get over, like I'll get my revenge today and then like everything will be fine tomorrow. Like I'll just like, it's fine. Like you'll, you're just procrastinating it. Or pile three. God. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. This has been a very dramatic pick a card reading. <laughs> this has been man. This is the most dramatic one I've ever filmed. Damn. Okay. I'm here for it though. Slay. Okay. Hermit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I forget what. God, I forget what the voices and the arms. I. Oh, voices. Okay. What is voice? This is seven of voice. I want to know what the, the suits are again. I forgot. I forgot. This is what happens when you decide to give your suits different names. Okay, so this is, uh, this is, uh, I don't even remember if, I think it was upside down, yeah. So this, this is cups, arms is swords, that's what I figured. Okay, and the hermit, okay. So, pile two, no, pile three, I'm sorry, I saw the two. Let me just double check one thing here. Actually, two things. I'm gonna double check two things. Okay. I didn't know that little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, my evil laugh fit is over. Okay. Um. 
I feel like pile three, if you... I feel like you are the cautionary tale that needs to be told to both pile one and two. Because you got the hermit. You are, I feel like you're kind of in the aftermath. Like you, your lesson, like you're past the point of like where you were supposed to learn the damn lesson. You are in the aftermath and you're like, damn, I got to pick, I got to pick myself off, uh, pick myself up and brush, brush the dirt, dirt off. Christ words are hard to fucking say today. Um, yeah, the hermit, you are all alone. You are seeking wisdom. Um, yeah. You, you're going on sabbatical, my friend. You're trying to learn where, where you fucked up. Uh, reason why I say this is because, uh, the guidebook specifically says for the, uh, two of swords, two of arms reverse, is that, uh, yeah, you couldn't make a decision and a decision was made for you by the universe. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, you, you had the determination this is the basically the seven of cups reversed. You had the determination and the skill set, whatnot, to make a decision, but you did not make a decision. So the universe was like, yeah, I'm going to make the decision for you. And so now you're just picking up the pieces. And I hope you learned your goddamn lesson. All right, let's see what else I got to say. You kept obsessing over whatever this was didn't make a decision on what you're gonna do and you're too folk you really wanted that revenge and it didn't fucking work out for you Elephant. chariot and then knight of spells fuck what was spells what, what spells spells is wands right right i remember one of them it's like oh you would think it's that one but it's not i think or was it in another, another deck <clears throat> oh, it is wands. Okay, cool. You were definitely brash. Say you're being brash, though. I think when you finally came down to, like, finally making a decision, you made it brashly. And, like... Yeah, you kind of made it too quick. Because you got, like, the Knight of Spells, which is the Knight of Wands, which is... He's kind of the fastest of the the the, the, the knight suit. And he does make uh, brash decisions. He's also a fuckboy in my, in my book. Definitely major fuckboy. You also got the Chariot, which is also... Um, I feel like... They're all facing this way. It's funny because I can see him kind of like riding the horse here. Like, I feel like he kind of just rode. I feel like you kind of like just literally just ran just straight into a wall. And then the Hierophant, which is usually like, gosh, this is like a really like pale card. There you go. The Hierophant is like usually like, did you get in trouble with the law? I feel like you got in trouble. It definitely affect, affected some sort of like, like in something institutional. Like it could be like a marriage. It could be a, a it could be a um, job, the law. Like I said, um, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you learn uh, that. You know, shouldn't make last minute decisions and whatnot. Don't do things, don't hold out for like, don't hold out for revenge or don't hold out for, yeah. Don't go with the very obviously toxic decision and then expect good things to come out from it. Cause it wasn't. Cause look, here's a potion of fire breathing. This is your trinket. A lot of things can go wrong with fire breathing. You could burn the wrong things. You could burn the wrong people. Um, you can hurt yourself too if you don't do it correctly. And or both any of those things. Uh, shit can get messy. This feels like a very messy pile and like all over the place. Like this is kind of... 
क्या If you are still trying to make the decision, let's kind of go back in time. Maybe you haven't made your decision. Don't go with revenge. Whatever it is, don't go with revenge. Don't go with the most brash decision. Don't go with what your angry self feels like doing. Like, er, like I want to like beat this person up. Like, yeah, sometimes like you know people do things that are pretty fucking shitty. Like. I've encountered that a lot in customer service and even on the road too. And you're like, damn, like I wish I could punch that person in the face. But like if I punch that person in the face, like what would like, yeah, it's gonna feel good in the moment, like, but what is that going to do in the long run? Like, I could get an assault charge, I could maybe end up in jail, or like I'm I, I it's gonna fuck me up legally. Um that I could also maybe I might even have to pay for some medical bills, so it's gonna fuck me up financially, like Definitely uh, weigh the cons, but don't take too long. Like, I feel like this situation, it was a very obviously wrong decision, like, and you fucking went for it. Or it's like, the universe is about to make the decision for you and it's not gonna go in, not gonna go your way. And it's, it's like plain as day, like the thing that you should do, but you just don't want to do it because you're being too fucking stubborn and you just, you just really fucking want it to go your way. God, I feel like pile three, like you are the cautionary tale to pile one and two. Interesting. But anyways, uh, let's see what your healing cards, let's kind of round off this end this reading and kind of get some good vibes up in here uh some encourage words of encouragement okay so you got uh balance take some time to relax Indulge a little bit more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Okay, I think for this, indulge less. Um, but yeah, you need to like stop obsessing over whatever this is. Get over it and uh, go with the obviously good decision that's not revenge. Because um, that's, that's the card that's just screaming at me. Um, and an abundance. Enjoy, enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Seriously. Um, if you are in the aftermath of this, like, you know, um, once hit rock bottom, the only way is to go up. So, uh, yeah. Hey, who knows? Maybe something good's coming around the corner. Hopefully you learned your lesson if you're at the end, but also too, like, if you take the high road, things are going to be better for you, pile three. Um, your third and final card is delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things. Always, always expect the best. Always expect the best for yourself, pile three. Like, you don't need to be like, if someone like did something to you or like you've had a city, a shitty situation, Jesus Christ, city walk, shitty walk. Kind of reminds me of that. Um, anyways, um, if you've had a shitty situation happen to you, um, it doesn't matter. You know, yeah, it sucks in the moment, um, but you know what? Like, guess what? Whatever that was, it was not meant to be. Um, I'm gonna go with what is best for me and the universe, you know, just kind of, just kind of put some faith into the universe and like shit's gonna go my like the things that are meant for me are going to happen like I do not chase I attract kind of situ kind of kind of like that like like yes you're gonna have to do some chasing just to you know be realistic but like you don't need to do in like an excess amount of like of uh chasing um, uh, yeah. Balance. <laughs> um, oh, hilarious. Balance. Uh, but yeah, pile three. 
Damn, okay, pile three. Thank you for tuning in. I'm emotionally exhausted from this dramatic reading. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to catch these live, uh, follow me on Twitch. And uh, yeah, till next time. Bye, pile three. Okay, I'm gonna put the volume all the way up so you guys can hear. Hey Siri, can you pick a number between one and three? Oh, rude, she just like walked out on me. I was in the middle of asking you a question, bitch. What the fuck? Hey Siri, can you pick a number between one and three? The answer is two. That's the tiki one, right? Yeah, that was the tiki one. I know exactly how this applies. Breadstand, you know all the tea on this one. You know who I'm thinking of, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I'm a, a bit haunted by it. <sighs> that was your guess. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of was like, damn, like, this pile is, like, resonating pretty hard. And I was like, well, makes sense that this is my pile. I love it here, but I'm glad it's just not pile three, because I would have been very confused. I would have been like, oh, no. 